What's good everybody, welcome back to my channel, I'm Zamir from XCC Tunes. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to assign MIDI CC parameters to your faders using the MIDI remote. A lot of us are not able to assign MIDI CC using the mapping assistant function. However, there's a way that I've found which can be useful if you guys want to use it. There are a lot of videos out there on how to set up your MIDI remote. And so I'm not going to talk about that at all. I'm just going to talk about how to use your faders to control MIDI CC information, such as MIDI CC1 for modulation, MIDI CC11 for expression, MIDI CC64 for sustain, and so on. All right, without further ado, let's jump right in. I'm going to add a couple of tracks right now. Okay, I have all these violins uh, tracks added and I'm going to go to MIDI insert and I'm going to go to MIDI monitor, right? So why did I open this? I would like to show you the controller that your faders is currently controlling. So for example, if I move this fader right here, if you can see, this first fader that I'm moving now is controlling controller 48, okay? And I want to control MIDI CC1 okay so how do I do that I cannot assign it using the MIDI mapping system because right here we don't have any option to assign it to CC1 or any other CC controllers there's another important thing make sure these faders that you'd like to assign to MIDI CC is not assigned to any other functions okay so I have this violins which I'd like to control the MIDI CC1, 11 and sustain using these faders. Okay, I'm going to play something right now. And I'm going to move the faders right here. Okay, these faders are not controlling MIDI CC1, 11 and 64 like I want it to be. Okay, so what you're going to do now is you have to go to the uh, input transformer right here and click on project and you can go to project and go to project input transformer okay if you notice i've already set up the presets here modulation cc1 modulation cc11 modulation cc64 okay like we saw earlier i'm going to go to the midi insert this fader right here is controlling 48 and i wanted to control controller one so when i click on this enable them and I'm going to move this fader now. It's controlling CC1. Okay. But if I uncheck this, it's going to control 48. Okay. So how did I make that happen? Okay. I'm going to show you. Okay. These are the settings that you have to just copy. Type is equal to controller. And then the event transform action. You have to set the value to value 1 and subtract 47. Okay. Why 47? The first fader here is controlling CC48. And I want it to control CC1. Okay. So in order for it to control CC1, I have to minus, which is subtract 47. So that now when I move this fader right here, it is controlling CC1. Okay. And same thing for MIDI CC11. This fader is controlling 49. And I want it to control CC11, which means I have to subtract. 38 right and the sustain is MIDI CC 64 and the faders is controlling 50 and I need to add 14 to get to 64 okay so once I've set it up okay now I'm gonna play something on my keyboard I was controlling the MIDI CC1 and now I'm going to control MIDI CC11. I'm controlling the sustain now. So that's how you can map MIDI CC in Cubase using MIDI Remote. I know this is not the best way to use this feature. 
However, until we get any update from Cubase, this is what we have to work with, all right? I hope you guys find this video helpful. If you guys did, please make sure to subscribe, turn on notification, smash the like button, and share this video to all Cubase producers. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.